Uh, since you found them easier, let's do question two first. We're writing these in scientific notation. Okay? Now, we're trying to make sure that these numbers are. We're looking for a few different things. So, firstly, we're looking for a product of two numbers, so something times something. Secondly, we're looking for that first number, which in this case is 5.404. We're looking for that first number to be between 1 and 10. One and 10. Okay. And lastly, we want this number here to be 10 to the power of something. And so far, all of those checkouts. So let's go through this one at a time. Uh, 5,404,000. Because I start off by saying 5 million, if all I had there was 5 million and no other numbers, how many zeros does 5 million have? Six. 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 So 10 to the 6. Perfect. Thumbs up. Okay. Then you take the 5. That's going to be your, your one main digit. And 0 0.404. Big thumbs up if you got that. Some people ask me, how many significant figures do we put onto this question? You put however many significant figures there are. And in the first place, uh, I don't know anything about this number. So how many significant figures can I assume that there are? Only four, right? One, two, three, four. These may be significant, but there's no reason for me to say that they are. So I'm done. That answer's perfect, okay? So that looks good. What do we think of that? this one? Who agrees with this answer? Yeah, okay, thank you, hands down. So by the way, you've got a couple of choices here, especially with negative indices, they're easier to mark up. Choice number one, get out a calculator. Remember we have this button, right? We've got the, you, I mean, you can do this, you can type it manually, but B, you've got a button that does that in one hit for you. Go to your calculator now, type in 3.04. Uh, where's the button again? It's sort of next to the decimal place, I think. Bottom middle. Yeah, bottom middle, okay. And then put in negative three. Does it hand you this number? No. Yeah. No? Yes? I heard a lot of yeses yeah. and some no's. Press the okay. yeah. 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 yeah, okay. Yeah, so that back. Cool, okay. Uh, so it's handed it back to you in scientific notation. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is it? Okay, so you've got some settings on your calculator I can fix in a minute. Okay. So, thumbs up there. There is one other way we can check rather than like appealing to technology. What this means is, right? Oh, I'll, I'll come back here actually. What this means is you're multiplying by 10 six times. Yeah? So, <laughs> what this second one means is, because it's a negative, you're not multiplying by 10, you're dividing by 10, right? Dividing by 10 how many times? So it's a negative three. three. Three times, okay? So every time you divide by 10, the decimal place, it shifts over one time, okay? In fact, sorry, it shifts to the left. So if you divide once, you're gonna get 0 0.304, yep. If I go again, you're gonna get 0 0.0304. You do it the third time, and this is the number you get. Okay, so lots of ways you can check. Um, last one, yeah, okay, it was a bit of a curveball. It's a weird Fine. number, right? Because you don't have to do anything with it, but if you want it in scientific notation, you have to include this guy. Um, why? Why? Scientific notation. Well, firstly, the <laughs> definition of scientific notation is we want this times 10 to the whatever. It's a zero because how many zeros after, are there after the five? No. Oh, zero. There are no zeros after it. So I'm done. Okay. Let's have a look at the rounding. So, um, two significant figures. The most important numbers, sorry, the most important digits in this number are the three and the one. So, that's perfect. When you say five significant figures, what are the most important, the five most important numbers, uh, digits in this number? One, two, three, four, five. There they are. So you look at this guy and you say, if I'm to round him, are the rest of the numbers telling me to round up or stay where I am? And you stay, because 20 is, is closer to low, okay? So that's fine, that's fine. These were also all fine. Okay, three significant figures. I'm going to ask the question again. Which are the three most important or the three biggest numbers that you see here in this one thing here? Well, yeah, all of these guys here are not significant, right? Just like, uh, just like these guys are not significant, right? So therefore, you start there. Here's the first one, second one, third one. Like that. So then you look at the rest of the number, and you say, does the rest of the number tell me to go up or stay where I am? And the answer is, that's pretty small. You stay where you are. Okay? So, happy times. A tick, just so you know. All right? Well done.